Welcome back to some more Starfield. So we're gonna go downstairs. Oh, we we're done there. Okay, got it. Let's see what this guy's ass. We need to. Guy gotta go to the spaceport. to limp back here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Ah, you are new probationary then? I am. True Chief Hera. Pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. Oh, this, that ain't my ship. That's my ship. Take off, Captain. Can we get a moment? Can we talk? Just here for a chat? Sam, we ain't talking. Wanted to find that little thing he was talking about in my in here, but Hey Dad. Will you read to me tonight before bed? Read to you, sure. I'd like that very much. You haven't asked me to do that in a long time. Okay, let's go down here. Grunt work.
those credits. What the hell knocked him over? Oh, not good. Mr. Kiss taking this out. This to greet the scream. I didn't hear a scream, but okay. Either I got hit harder than I thought, or you've got some incredible time. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. Hey, miss. I'll take these first. So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? You'd make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. <laughs> of course you are. My hero. At least you follow orders well. Maybe you are military. Either way, we can make this work. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. Among apex predators, they're the pinnacle. Resilient, agile, smart. And their mental prowess only increases with age. Some can even dominate the minds of weaker species, keeping them as pets, livestock, or toys. <laughs> They're creatures without peer. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm gonna need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. <laughs> but there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. That sounds easy, easy enough. The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. There were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset it's the building in the middle of the facility the terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole then we can see about getting things back online good once i see the connection reset i'll get things underway on my end take care of yourself out there and make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample What's the kind of stuff you got? Oh, jeez, the celery. I'll take that. Take some ammo. Nope. Okay, let's go. Get outside. Hang on. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Sam, we ain't talking.
System power reset required. Maintenance team, please reset all power breakers. Hang on, I still gotta look at that. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plants turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into. Ooh, I'll take that. Um, let me just compare it to what I got now. Yeah, you're a strand upgrade. Let's take that. Crossfire. Let me go to my inventory so just, just so I can equip it. Not spacesuit. There we go. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. <sighs> but it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. 183.5 Trackers reading green. Uh-oh. Oh shit. Just damn. Slowly creeping on by. Close this on up. Go up here. Oh, there he is. Eh, I may be able to take him on, but I'll still do this. Way over here. No, this is my best way over there, actually. Sneak our way up this way.
almost at the next one. Up here. That one. The next one is over in there. Sam, why the fuck did you jump off? Oh shit, he's over there. Huh. Maybe this way? Yep. Right on. All right, where's this guy at? Oh, I hear him. Over here. Oh crap! I didn't know you could do that. There he is. Yep, now you're dead. Hey, we actually did it. Constellation has skills. This deserves a victory lap. I don't know about you. Ooh, what's down here? I have this stuff. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? I did. Heavens above! You just flatlined a terror morph! I'm not too proud. Thank you for saving my ass. 
You didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? Not doing this one out of the goodness of your heart, huh? Nope. I want money. I'll give you what I can. You certainly deserve it. Forewarning, though, I'm not exactly New Atlantis royalty. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. Yo, walk a little faster. Come on. Oh, we're going upstairs? Come on. This way. Why are you turning around? Going back down this way? you can do running basic diagnostics nothing maybe a flag scan no spectrograph damn this equipment it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample but this terramorph being here of all places it doesn't make sense Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. She's right. Everyone's got theories about them, but no one has the answer. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, Terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. They have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. 
It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. There is. There has to be. We just have to find it. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your boss, or commander, or whoever it is that actually sent you here. You can even show them this. A gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan thinks there could be more attacks on the horizon. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll recognize the name. Yeah, I'll mention it. That's all I'm asking. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him. But last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. A bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go do what you have to do to get that sample in the right hands. We need to know what we're dealing with here. Thank you. All right, let me go to my skills real quick. How am I doing on physical? Can I upgrade you? No, I can't. Okay. Not yet on you. Go back over here. I want to get signs up a little more. Ooh, okay. I want this. All right, let's back up. Let's go here. Go up there. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do a terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? It's... what? That... that's a hell of a probationary mission. It takes some serious grit to make it through an experience like that. Above and Beyond doesn't really begin to describe it now, does it? 
Earned yourself some serious hazard pay on this one. But, uh, if none of the settlers made it, who's got you delivering this sample? Hadrian. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. Yeah, what is Xeno Warfare? In the run-up to the Colony War, the UC started a program with a singular goal. Find the deadliest, most terrifying aliens in the galaxy, and have them fight on the side of the UC. Never saw any of the deployments myself, but the program was clearly enough of a success that when the war came to an end 20 years ago, both sides agreed to have the practice banned, at which point, I presume, this tribunal decided to cut Sanan loose. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume, but considering her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than genuine. Did your survivor, Hadrian, does she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? <laughs> I doubt that's the takeaway she was hoping for. But if Sanan's got herself involved, it's got to be serious. This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you. Supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I suggest you move out. Oh, so I either have... Okay. So is this like a branching path? I am more interested in... Um, is it deep cover or is it the other one? No, I don't have to. I, I want to do delivering devils because I really fe feel like if it's a branching path, that's more interesting to me at least with the terror morphs and stuff. I'm definitely going to do that. All right, so I'm going to end this video here and I'll see you next time. Some more Starfield.